Hey everyone, uh, this is Sanjay here. Today, let's talk about radio. Seriously, a radio in 2020? Yep. Here is why. A radio is the backbone of modern wireless communication systems. If this is not fair enough, each and every wireless device has some sort of antenna in them. Say for example, your smartphone. If I pop open the back of it, here you can see the antenna for our network communications like GSM, LTE and also for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. In this video, I am focusing on the amateur radio which is also called as ham radio. Uh, this is a TYT ham radio which belongs to my dad. This is a VHF which stands for very high frequency. Is it a radio used by hamsters? Not really. This radio operates within a particular frequency spectrum which is allocated in mostly every country in the world for non-commercial purposes like experimenting on wireless communications also for some emergency communications and it is also a free way to communicate with fellow people who are not close to you by the way a licensing is required for using these frequencies the amateur radio service is established by the international telecommunication union also known as itu through the radio regulations National governments regulate technical and operational characteristics of transmission and issue individual licenses with an unique identifying call signs which must be used in all transmission. Amateur radio operators must hold a license as I mentioned earlier which is obtained by passing a government exam demonstrating adequate technical radio knowledge and legal knowledge of the host government's radio regulations. Here in India, the 50 MHz frequency is not allowed for a amateur radio purpose but in US in other countries 50 MHz are used by amateur radio enthusiasts. Radio amateurs are limited to use only a small frequency band which is allocated throughout the radio spectrum but within these bands are allowed to transmit on any frequency using a variety of voice text images and data communication models this enables communication across cities a small region country continents you can communicate with the whole world with this or even into the space there are also radio sport events conducted by some stations the competition is to make as much as contact with new countries and people around the globe also iss has its own call sign and the radio enthusiasts can make contact with the people on board iss when the satellite is in range. According to the estimate made in 2011 by American Radio Relay League also known as ARRL, 2 million people throughout the world are regularly involved in amateur radio. Alright, that is enough info about ham radio. What is use of such a technology in modern world? Well, during tsunami attack in 2011 in Japan, only amateur radio communication was only possible. This is a scenario which came to my mind there are tons of examples like this. So, how the hell this one worked when other communication medias are down? These radios can be put together by using off-the-shelf components and can be built by anyone who is tech savvy. It can be operated by a car battery or similar power source. It just need a proper antenna to transmit and receive. Many of you may aware of Morse code. Morse code is a code which is made particularly for this application. This is extensively used in military operations in world wars, both the world wars and also even today by military professionals who are stuck in some places and can't able to communicate via normal communications line. Morse code is very helpful for them. Well, what is the point of all this? Today I have got a micro X which was a low cost DIY kit for around 5000 Indian rupees or roughly 70 US dollars. This is purchased from hofsignals.com by my dad in 2017 and collecting dust for 3 years. This is a main board and uh, this is a uh, small Arduino Nano which is soldered on to a shield and this is a LCD display. We can see the frequency we are on and uh, other stuff. Uh, ma the main board does everything like uh, audio processing and uh, modulating and demodulating and stuff. This is an intro video for my radio build series. As of now, I have uh, assembled some of these components onto the box. This is originally not intended for this purpose. You can see the speaker is partly shown off. This is a uh, box which was lying around in my home workshop. So I 
picked it and my dad helped to cut the holes and assemble these things as you can see this is a front panel as of now i'm not going to put this front panel because i need a extension cable for the display when i place uh, right over here the display cable needs to come from from here to here i'm going to assemble the display over here so i need an extension cable and i will do that later because of that i'm not going to assemble the front panel okay that's for uh, the next video uh, this is an introduction video as i said earlier for the radio build series by the way i will make some open source software related videos too in the future i like to tinker with computers electronics and sometimes electrical subjects too if you are interested hit the subscribe button below to watch the upcoming videos if you like to see other computer related stuffs check out my channel and if you find this video helpful hit the like button below and if doesn't hit the other button if you like my content stick around by hitting the subscribe button and thanks for watching